Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a long time and there's gonna be some changes. Um, I come up with some excuses why I haven't made a video, but we all know how that goes. We all have lives. I don't make money off these videos, I just do it for fun. I like to, uh, especially when it's for something that you don't see very often, but <clears throat> anyway, so some changes that's gonna happen. I love my guns, I love all that stuff, I love shooting, but I do have more than one hobby, and that is cars, and I'd like to share that with you too. Not only that, if I keep trying to go and buy a gun or go buy this to show you guys, that gets super expensive when I can show you guys cars too, it's something that I'm doing as well, and I know a lot of you guys like messing with cars as well as guns. So. Let me uh, show you some of my projects here. Maybe not so much projects, I mean they're running cars. But the first one is going to be a 1995 Acura NSX. It's, uh, it's got some work going on to it right now. It's going to be uh, getting big brakes. I kind of just, you can see the, the rear is kind of just tacked on there uh, to see how it looks. But this is a 1995 Acura NSX with a supercharger. It's got a Comtech supercharger. And, you know, it is red, it's got the camel interior. My buddy uh, Joe and I actually just had the seats repulsed. We bought them from uh, Rides.com, I believe it what it was. I have to double check, but we got them from Rides.com. And pretty good price. I opted for the Napa leather. Uh, Napa leather with perforated center. And he came over and helped me. We knocked it out in about, I don't know, three or four hours. Because he already did his, so he knew how to do it. He had the tools. Um, I like to keep it simple. NSXR shift knob and boot. Uh, Momo wheel. AM gauges for AFR and boost. Um, very simple setup. It does have a air cup system. You can see the KWV3s. And there you can see the... The air cups. The tank and compressors mounted up front. It's got some uh, carbon six side mirrors. Extremely good quality mirrors. Some DFR carbon fiber side scoops. For the most part, this car is kept simple. It got a Little carbon fiber scoops there in, in, in lieu of the OEM ones. And then we have a 1997 Honda Civic Hatchback DX. I was working on the, on the uh, 92 Civic. Got rid of that when I got this. Uh, this one has. K2082 with a six speed transmission. It's running on AEM EMS S2. Nothing super fancy. Uh, I do want to change out that uh, intake later on. I would like to get a hybrid racing dual core uh, half size radiator here because I do want to get AC in this. I plan on getting AC in this and I'm putting pieces together right now to get that going. I may or may not use a hybrid racing adapter kits. We'll see. They're the only ones that make them. Um, otherwise, you have to get them custom made. It's running a innovative billet mounts. Got the EP3 pulley system. Got the K tuned uh, headers or header. So, some of you are going to cry about that. Single header. Say a uh, four cylinder. Just a puny little four cylinder. On the inside, it's got a stock interior. Not too bad. It's complete. I will probably leave it that way. Seats are. Maybe eight, 8 out of 10, they look worse in the cameras than you do in person. I mean, it's just, I have, I went and got a uh, Momo steering wheel that'll match my NSX. 
I believe this one's slightly larger though. I have to put it up against the other one. Uh, quick release. Why are you not focusing, fool? So. I forget where, where I got that shift knob from. But it's nice and heavy. It's got the ASR dog bone shifter relocator because this has the RSX Type S uh, shifter assembly that mounts from the bottom of the car using a K-tuned mount. Um, it works. Um, but eventually I would like to upgrade to the hybrid racing one. The K2 one looks, they look great, but it seems to me that the hybrid racing kits for the shifter is just a nicer piece overall. So that's kind of what I want to go with. So other than that, pretty stock in here. It's not too bad. Got the uh, Race 5070R. And bronze 15 by 8 35 offset I got rear disc conversion is gonna be going on this thing it's all sitting up there and I got more parts just sitting up there it's gonna be going on there I got some was it a PCI PCI uh, camber kits front and rear that's gonna be going on as well and then we have our commuter. Can't beat a Honda fit for commuter. I think this is like a third or fourth one. And I like comfort. My first truck is a big horn. And we just got this. This is a long horn. Man, if you haven't been inside of a long horn, see how comfy these things are. Got the massive 12 inch. And then have my F-150 six inch Fabtech lift. Um, don't really drive that one anymore. But yeah, today we have big brake kits from StopTech. So I'm gonna be working on this today. Um, hopefully I get it done today. It's a uh, big brake hits on all four corners with the e-brake. So my concern right now is are these wheels going to fit over the front? I know the back wheel. I did get some 5 millimeter spacers and it looks like it's going to be a tight fit but we'll find out. So, that's what's going to be going on to the channel. Um, you know, just kind of share the progress as I work on cars more. Um, you know, I know a lot of people value the NSX, uh, consider it a special car the way I do. I have gone through many cars, um, and the NSX is a car that I just can't see myself getting rid of. It, it's a very special car. I think it has good history. Um, and it's not a bad car to own if you want to have something that's fun and as long as you take care of it that's gonna give you back your money later on if not give you more money later on because we know the prices on the NSX is just going up the, the kid in me I'm 35 the kid in me I've always loved Mr. with Hondas and that's why I got that EK and I want to get the AC going because I think a K20 uh, EK that is putting over 200 to the wheels with AC will be a very fun car to drive every day I'll probably you know I'm, I'm older now so I probably won't get messaged by the police as much as I used to when I was a kid but it's still civic and I'm probably going to be getting pulled over a lot we'll see so thanks for watching this video hit that like button subscribe and let me know what you think about me uh, switching over to this dual hobby format thing going on instead of just instead of just guns. When I get a new gun um, or new targets, I am gonna talk about them, review them, tell you what I think, and you know. But I'm not gonna go and buy guns and targets just just for that. But as they come, I will 
And I have I have some other guns too that I haven't talked about that I'll probably be pulling out of the safe and showing you guys and going out to the range. But expect cars as well. Expect cars and uh oh, look at this. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. This is a piece of the oil pan transmission. Uh, the oil, the oil pan for the Civic. I stripped out the bolt. So right now I'm in the process of. I have a bolt coming in online. This bolt is a five uh, M14. M14 by uh, 1.5. They sell the M14 by 1.5 oversize. That's supposed to just slightly bigger and bite and, and bite into it, the oil pan. It is a aluminum oil pan, so it should be easy. So I'm hoping that's fixed. If now I change the oil pan or retap it, so I'm hoping that uh, that fixes. So right now I have oil off the car, waiting for that bolt. So that's what's going on. But anyways, thank you for coming back, and please let me know what you think any suggestions um, on you know how to go about it I mean I've thought about making a separate channel but nah so stay tuned there will be another video I'm just gonna I want to split it just just uh, to make it easy uh, I want this gonna be another video where it's gonna be just uh, showing this stop tech kit on NSX I want to work on that today that's gonna be a different video um, so just check that out as well like the channel, like this video, and subscribe, and just you know, let's have fun. You know, I, I have a, I have a job. I have a job. I, I'm not looking to to uh, to get a whole lot of people. I just want people who are interested. Uh, there's a few people that I do stay in contact with, with the, the few people that, that do watch the channel. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. Just something a little more on the intimate side, and a little more on the on the just sharing. Because um, like I said, I got a job. I don't need a whole lot of subscribers, that. but you know, having these videos videos out there, if it helps a couple people, that's all that matters. So um, I have a recent videos. I'm installing the stop ticket, so you know, maybe this will help somebody. I haven't seen any videos on the hybrid racing air conditioner kits install. So if I do go with a hybrid racing kit, uh, I want to I'm going to record that process as well, and I'll put it up there and it'll help somebody else because I definitely couldn't find a video on that one so alright guys I have talked enough see you guys later